It's fine. I get up. I get up. I'm feeling like I'm gonna fall. Salute to all my hustlers. Give me a little punk again. I'm a boogie boy slayer. We are the most famous. We're going to go to work. 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 Ubongo umtaka kosa uthi unalo italente kakhulu kazini unalo iliso nendlebe yayonkinto ehamsela ke ne visual arts joba ke insizo ifunukene lapha na ke ku multimedia storytelling asebenza nabo ke abantu bayinkampani abizwa ngokuthi umuzi bafethu afuna ke i internship khona lapha yana insizo ngaphanga ukuthi ke ikhoqe ke amanye abali wabanye abantu akhoqele elakhe ibali senze i role reversal joba sithi akashele iqiniso lakhe bafethu asifune inga nekwani there was a phase that I was very depressed, you can say, you know. We've, we, we got caught with illegal substances. Show a fetu, Kamala Muponko, Wagakosa, Nzari Rishawela, Goto Wamanja, and Kali Robert Shem. They say a picture speaks a thousand words, a video tells a story. I think that's what I'm to do. There was a phase that where I was filled with, I was very depressed, you can say, you know. I I wrote my name, psychologist. Sister Lami, she have my business, something, you know. So, me na mang filangin ng art. Yaba pa isi sa jajin filang ng art. Fungba ay artist, you know. So after my trick, man, figure you che. Gerava and Scotty, um, I think it was three, four years ago. Um, and one at a time, we to. I took drop out the scale, ah, yeah, well, in case they you che, I drop out the you che. So the reason, um, we think I ever die you che. Um. It's like, I want to move something we told. But we realize that we have accident of iPhone. We have a phone for three years, which is also we have three years. So I can't even take the next week. Who's going to sit here for three years, bro? You know? Not me. Dropped out. He stopped attending Angitama classes. Now we know he's not attending classes anymore. But he worked for UJFM. Do you know how painful it is? Many some land a wee hours or much work. We were late. About two, three some land the UJ. And then this guy, Achubaba Mare, this guy could have completed his three years or whatever. Now we're fetching him as a radio DJ. My heart almost stopped. I think it's the worst, it's the worst thing for, it's the worst kind of uh, temptation. It's like uh, when someone is bored. Yeah, well, so we'd waste time here in the, in the gas, in our gents, smoking weed, drinking. Um, and there was a time we've, we, we got caught, you know, with illegal substances. You understand? Uh, we got caught with illegal substances, and um, the cops came to my house. 
with like a seven, seven uh, flipping vans, seven police vans, three territories, and uh, I think even a taxi, like a quantum. <laughs> Well, what deliver me from the state, from the police station? So, I had come at least some. Let him go. Monkey. No, no, no. That was not the first incident. The one other incident, he was locked up, locked up at Brixton. He doesn't phone us. He phones his friends, and then one of the friends. They're still friends today. He phones me. They were still very young. O'Brien phones us and says, Ubunko has been, we have been locked up. He was one of them. They need help. That was on a Saturday. Tina Sunday, Masia Nobaba, before found all of these friends, they are there to bail them out. <laughs> and he was the shop steward of all of them. He was serving them food. He was doing this. He was like, I said, now you are a prisoner now, eh? <laughs> we convict. This is what we came to do. But no, who's going to help them? Who's going to help them? Who's going to give them food? <laughs> but he was out, and then we tried and talked to him, which you don't get yourself in this kind of situations. It messes up your life in a way. Mashala for like four months. Knew, knowing what things were going on, I was going to start a four months, obviously, because the the, the 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 drama school in Funguia will go. But I'll next year. So I was going for about four months. Kelly's acting, Fundi acting, Funda Malans, and my monologue. Because out here, he's a director and a writer. We shoot any movie, like a short movie, you know. At that time, we didn't have a camera, we didn't have a camera, we didn't have a sound. Now my actor has a script, maybe it's an improviser, it's shooting. This movie is a great movie. I'm told. This movie is a great movie. It's been a great time in New York, 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 New York. For me, it happened very fast. It happened very fast, and I wish I was more mature to sort of internalize everything and take it all in, young know, totally. from a friend of mine. On Facebook, uh, there's a place where you can learn multimedia, and I was at a point where like attain more skills in 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 in, in what I want to do. So um, mang to gaplaya e umuzi bang biza for interview ngange na bu umuzi ngayenza ikos ya kona. So wama nje sengre ti lenge internship yami um umuzi. I was able to get a lot of money from the U.S. I was able to get a lot of money from the company. I was able to get a lot of money from the U.S. But for the multimedia, not experts, I was able to get a lot of money from the U.S. I was able to get a lot of money from the U.S. and I was able to get a lot of money from the U.S. if I am good enough to go to our company to one of the companies. When I interview, I always tell him, look like this, and look at the person direct in the face, and please keep time. I'd rather take, I'd rather take Uber, be on time, and, and present yourself well. What it would mean for me, Mang Chala Lespanle, is I'm on the right um, track, yeah, bo. Malenteng ifuna life in. Chala we, chala we feeling it, feeling him nandi when ifuna into a seven zero pindu itoil, yeah, bo. So for me, it's um, 
it will be very motivating among a total spanning which I'm on the right track and Nalenting Yenza ya wonagal. Sure, but fair to um, put the figure like Umuzi. Uh, today's my interview, so I'm a bit nervous, but so what I'm pumped. Wish me luck. Hello, Bongo, how are you doing? I'm doing yourself, Carl. Good, good, good. Um, we're just having this meeting quickly because you're now reaching sort of like the eighth, ninth month mark of your time at Umuzi. Right. And I just wanted to sort of remind you what it is we're doing because obviously we need to now start looking at getting you some work experience and some nice like on the job training. Right. So what we do here at Amuzi is obviously we're trying to change the way that we look at education and to the work experience. Right. The main thing that we're trying to do is to make sure that young talented black creatives and people are able to sort of work in these high growth opportunity sort of spaces and we're trying to sort of provide access to that. And by doing that, we really changed the way that we look at everything going forward. So in terms of your time here at Amuzi, what sort of things have you learned and sort of responsibilities that you've learned that's really sort of helped you in terms of being a director? Um, I would say the three main things that I've learned is being, um, is firstly professional, creative, and conceptual as well. So in your words, what makes a good director? Well, I think someone who's uh, basically um, good all around, technically, conceptually, and uh, someone who works well in a team and is able to get a team to work together to uh, sort of bring to life uh, their ideas or something, bring, to life, bring something to life in, in the way that the director sees it. So yeah, and I think by, by now, I've, um, I think I'm able to jump into sort of those responsibilities and I'm, I hope it all works out. Okay, no, that's good, that's good. Cool. So, the script writer's handed you a script. Yeah. It's now your time as a director to take it forward. What is the sort of process that you follow in order to sort of take it forward? Okay, so once I've received the script, I would um, obviously read through it um, a couple of times uh, and I would start sort of drafting a storyboard of some sort of each shot that I will then probably give to my DOP later. And once we've sort of storyboard uh, the, the script, we'll then start going out for locations. We'll start with production, and start location scouting, maybe casting a couple of actors, um, seeing what the wardrobe wardrobe looks like and once we find our location we'll dress it maybe do a couple of prototypes shoot, prototype shoots mm -hmm. and then hopefully get to shoot it properly and then once that is done we'll put it into edits and then post-production process will happen and I'll sort of be involved highly engaged in every step of the process yeah with all the different departments Okay, cool. Alright, so that's all I need to know at this point in time. Um, interview's done. What's going to happen next is you're going to have three tasks that we're going to set you. And you're going to have a mentor that's going to help you guide you through the process. And these are going to be three tasks that we look at to really assess your technical, conceptual, and professional skills to make sure that we're going to send you off to get some epic directing experience. So, we'll send you off to that. And depending on how you do, 
It's gonna be make or break. Ready? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> you got this, it's fine. Mapilong arona re phela ka re ha dipale di filimi le di move go ya ka o fapana ha tsona ena ha le go interview ho thata go ka gopola di nthoka o fela ha fela wena o ka highlighta di qualities se ona le tsona o hlalosetse mohiri wa hao gore di tla isa company ya ha e pele jwang ha ile umuzi ba offer a one year leadership e fang ba cha menyetla ba cha ba le kala lena la digital le di creative professionals ena ha pe o thola le certificate se le gore se accredited ba go kwetlisa o a patalwa ba fa bo khoni ene hape o ka fumantswa le mosebetsi tse ding tsa ditsela o ka etsa BA ya multimedia studies yona he etla go nka dilemo dile tharo o ka etsa yona film and video technology liona etla go nka dilemo dile tharo ma haslas tse ba gore talente le bokhoni ba hao hona le se ba ka fa wena mona le fatseng ha fela o ka tseba ditakatso tsa hao wa di pusha o tla gona go fetollela tshisa hallo ya hao go chelete Hi, my name is Jason Jens van Rensburg. I'm the head of multimedia here at Umuzi. We do video and motion graphics, which is perfect um, because I've been in the industry for about six, seven years, and that's exactly what I've been doing. Cinematography, directing, video, animation, everything. Anything and everything, I've probably done it. Um, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna be Bonko's mentor, and we're gonna kick it off. We are all storytellers. From the chance of film recording, I cut again to the circus. They are storytellers. From Rock Rock, Bashani Libala, I cut again again to the Zuma Kelwan. They are storytellers. From all six, I bet you have seen them before too. But for the Umkosi, they are also storytellers. Cut again into the circus. I know much about them too. If you know that I cut again, I will have to do seven sa angel. I should be a we multimedia storytelling before too. Into the circus. If you need internship, now we have to be able to find a Umuzi. Into the circus. You shall task a few people. Just like in the chamber. I know you come. This is what Bala must have. เกียรติเกียรติเวชจัมบุลเกียรติเกียรติเวชจัมบุลเกียรติเกียรติเวชจัมบุลเกียรติเกียรติเวชจัมบุลเกียรติเกียรติเวชจัมบุลเกียรติ
Okay, so that could be probably the backstory. I think I'm just someone, uh, a young South African kid who's trying to figure himself out in the industry and um, I'm using film as a tool to figure, figure myself out and who I am and what, what I want to do. Okay, cool. So, but who are we talking about? I've always, I think um, uh, we should start thinking about characters or heroes in a way. Someone that's sort of is going to carry our story, you know. And I'd like it to be maybe someone just like you and I, just a, a 26 year old guy, you know. I think so. Yeah. How about Jiga? Jiga. Okay, let's call him Jiga. That could be our main character. Okay, cool. So he's our main character, and we what we know about him, he's our, he's our age, and he's black, right? So basically what we're saying is that Jigga came from KZN to Joburg. Yeah. Okay. What drives me while to, when I'm conceptualizing or what drives me all together is just, I want to be good, man. You know, and I want to be unique. I want to be... I don't want to be different because I don't think we can all be different. I just want to, I want to be good, I want to be unique. I want to show all the similarities that we have as human beings. I've always been um, fascinated about um, mental illnesses or psycho psychological illnesses like anxiety or depression or whatever. So maybe it could be he could be depressed or... What about multiple personality disorder? He could have a bipolar, multi-personal disorder, okay, cool. So wait, that means... Five stuff right there. Yeah, yeah, so that means he hallucinates, right? So he's got multi-personal disorder. So he hallucinates, which causes him to hallucinate. Could he be hallucinating someone just like him? A better version of himself. A better version of himself, right? Yeah. So the recruits actually do a lot of work collaboratively. Um, mainly because uh, we really want them to, to understand how to work in a team. Um, so almost all of the projects they do here are team-based. Um, we seldom do individual work here. We do a little bit of individual work more to see can you thrive on your own, because of course that's very important. But really for the most part everything is team-based. I want to see do you know how to delegate things, can you swap roles, are you always the editor, are you not always the editor. Um, so yeah, that's why we do team-based stuff. Um, shooting in Joburg, um, we can make use of our of JP's town, like a, which is where we are. So the neighborhood can help us out, sort of. I can, I can see like a rooftop scene. I think a rooftop scene looks nice, and we have access to the roof. So I mean, so on the the rooftop, then what's the main point of the rooftop, other than the fact that it looks cool? <laughs> Yeah, so one would say that I have somewhat of an obsession with psychological subject matter. Um, and I, I, would, I, I think it's because it's something I've experienced myself, you know. Um, I got depressed at a point um, and very anxious uh, also at a point. And I think it just, it came from, it came from like always wanting to be like perfect you know, and not really enjoying the journey of, uh, or considering everything as like part of a journey, you know. I always thought it would be, once you're this age, you do this, and once you do this, you'll get this, and once you get this, that's this, and it's completely not like that. Okay, cool. So, um, Bongo, I think um, this is looking really, really nice. I think let's start correlating it into what would be a director's treatment. So, we need a title. We need um, a running time, I guess, which we know. Um, we're going to need um, characters, right? Sort of a character bible. 
I think it's actually very difficult to break through in this industry, if I'm honest. Um, I think it's very difficult for, for, especially for the younger generation, to break through in the industry. More so because the industry is quite old, I think, to an extent. There's a lot of um, older people that are currently in the industry that have been there for a long time. And the thing with our industry, it's not an industry you can just suddenly change direction. Cool, I think we, we got that down. So what are we going to call this movie? Huh. I think it's interesting that the, he hallucinates himself, but he imagines himself as someone else, someone different. So I think we should call it, I don't know. Something of the reservations. Umehlu. Like the, the difference is himself. And I like the title. Okay. The title also speaks to our target market. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. I think uh, I think we got enough, um, Bonko, for uh, what you did for task one. Um, I think let's move on to task two, and let's see how you do there. Cool. Cool, man. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Good job. Sweet, guys. All right. Tasking <laughs> Give us TV, the film mini the video productions. Wa hona hapa ruka itebeza. Hai kaba ona le chalta ukala eno ona le bokoni. Mahasla se wena kala mo olente. Sebeni sa se onang le sona. Yeza kaho o kahona kahona. Okay, so sound speed, camera speed, and action. <laughs> Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay, so this is obviously so this is going to be task two. Um, so you're now going to actually sort of direct the set um, with guys helping you shoot, um, guys doing audio for you and so on, um, lighting and stuff. So I'm going to sort of critique, I'm going to see how you direct them, how professional you are on the set. Okay, cool. So these are your guys, they're gonna help you out with shooting. You've also got your two actors that you discussed earlier. Yeah. Um, so use them as you need to. I'm just gonna watch how you obviously direct them. Got your camera guys, got your sound. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Cool, man. Cool, man. Thanks, Jay. Nice. How's it, guys? Sweet, sweet. So if you guys have, some of you have read the script, some of you haven't, but uh, I'll run you guys down. I'll run you guys down through the script. Uh, so basically, we're gonna be shooting a scene on the roof between Vusi and Tabo. Um, they're going to be standing against the roof, uh, against the edge, and we just want to... This is basically the first time they're meeting, so basically Vusi is hallucinating Tabo. Yeah? It's a, Tabo's a hallucination, and this is the first time they meet. So we want to sort of get um, that mysterious feel across, and, but I'll run you guys through the shot list as we go. So let's mic them up and let's set up for the first shot. Um, I started off acting, um, and then after a couple of years acting, I realized that there is an opportunity for me to learn and sort of take control of the entire filmmaking process. And at that time, I didn't have sort of the knowledge or expertise 
and that's why I had to sort of come to Umuzi to sort of gain the training and the expertise required. So Mo, I need you here, almost getting half of that. Like, I want you to start it from the, from the, establish from here. yes, establish the city, then pan to them. By then, you guys are already like talking. <laughs> Cool, so sound is speed. Tara Astors, you ready? Yep. Camera B. Stand by. Sound. Speed, cameras, speed. And. Ash! You know, I don't think a lot of people actually know the role of the director, if I'm honest. Um, I say this more so because I think when the credits roll at the end of the day on a film, right, I think everyone puts so much pressure on the director, and yes, they have a lot of influence on a film, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of other guys that went into making that film, and I don't think they get enough credit. Like the writer, for example, no one really credits the writer, you know, the producer, the camera guy, you know, no one actually credits who's actually there. A good example is, I don't think anyone knows there's such a guy as a focus puller. And whenever I tell anyone there's a guy who literally pulls focus, everyone's like, oh my word, it blows my mind. Okay, so sound speed, camera speed, and action. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Great job, I like it. But you're just blocking him off here a bit too much. So give him some space so we can sort of see through him there. Yes, don't lean too much because then he gets covered. But good job. Let's do it again. I don't think I've had trouble finding myself or any more trouble than any other 26 year old would, would you know. I think life is a constant journey, life is a constant discovery of yourself, a constant building and destruction of yourself. So um, it just so happens that I'm really in tune with that process. You know, I personally think I understand that nothing is always like gonna stay the same. I understand that whatever I do today might not mean as much as it means today than tomorrow, you know, and I, I know, I, for me personally, I feel like I, I get that, that things are constantly changing, things are constantly evolving, and I have to keep up with that. So I'm pleased at the fact that I'm not the same person I was four years ago because I might as well be dead. So let's let's get a let's get a wide on camera B. So this wide is the establishing and the ending shot, okay. right? So it's you gentlemen standing there. It's going to be super wide. We're going to get a nice view of the city as well. And we just hold it for about five seconds, and then cut and you fly. Then we hold him again for five seconds. On the second one, remember turning to see that there's no one there. Sound, speed, camera speed, and action! So, we want to do this again. Maybe we should do this again tomorrow. So the challenges I think he went through in task two, um, I think it was, it, it's a thing of, um, he, he became very hands-on to an extent, um, and I think it was just that aspect of saying, just step, step away a little bit and rely on everyone else to do what you need them to do. Okay, cut it. 
Katie. Yeah. You said yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a wrap, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. All right, I think that was task two then, Bonko. I think you did a good job. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how task two went. Let's move on to task three just now. Cool. Cool, man. All right, that's it. Sweet. Okay, guys, you can also go. Let's wrap, yeah. let's pack up, let's, let's wrap it up. Monatasking <laughs> Let me give you one more clue, which is the letter L. Facebook. Faith to an air break. But But after the break, now that's what I call a cliffhanger. <laughs> Okay, so this is obviously now the final task. This is task three. So now you're just going to edit what you've, you've been given. Um, so this is a lot more like technical that I'm looking at. Um, so I want to see you um, prioritizing the footage. I want you to put it in folders. I want to see how fast you are. I want to see how well you know the software. Um, okay. I just want to see you how well you're putting the shots together. Do you know wh where you're putting them? And that's basic. That's just following a storyboard like you would normal. All right, so let's see you work on the footage a bit. Let's see you follow the storyboard that you have. And I just want to see how you piece that narrative together. OK, cool. Cool. So I'm going to organize everything into a different bin. Yeah. Well, all the different cards, because mm. we had two cameras. Yeah. So each camera is a card, and I'll just uh, import, import each card's footage into that bin. Nice. So this is what we have for Card A. Cool. So uh, whether someone is born creative or you, go, you learn it along the way, I think it's quite an interesting question. I would even equate it to, like, that's, that's the, the conundrum of life, you know? Like, uh, did the egg or the chicken come first? You know? And what sort of, uh, do you know what kind of tone and mood you're sort of going with for the scene? Yeah, I'm looking to go very like uh, dark and sort of uh, mm. mysterious. Cool. Yeah. So, but that, oh, I think I'll work that out in the grade. Cool, so this is basically the whole dialogue. Okay. So I know that within this timeline, or within this piece here, mm. This is basically how the whole conversation goes down. Yeah. So between here, I can flip between the different angles. When he says this, mm. okay, here's a reciprocal. And don't you think it would be easier to, to sync the audio first before you get started? Um, that's a tough question because it didn't have 
I think storytelling for me uh, is very important in African culture. It's how we preserve our history, you know. It was always through a story, a fable, you know. So I think this is the neo, I'm part of the neo movement of that, you know. Like the, this is the new way that we, we Africans preserve our history and story. That's why I'm so, I'm, I, that's why I love film so much, you know, because it's an opportunity for us to preserve history and share it with the rest of the world. So the key things I think that make a good storyteller, um, sure, I think it's such a, I think that's such a broad question. I think um, the big thing really is being able to just come up with an intriguing story that someone will actually want to invest in. I think sometimes we think the story that we like is great, but is it something that everyone else would want to get into? So what are you using the markers for? So these are basically indicators, because since I have the same scene mm. on two different angles, uh, I want to mark when each character is talking, so I know when to switch the camera, mm. when, to, when to switch yeah, the camera angles, basically. Nice. So he's laughing there, I think that'll be, that'll be interesting. I can see through those audio waves, that's me calling it. Mm. And action. So, I'm just gonna cut it there. Cool. Do you want to turn the speakers on? I'm completely happy that my parents have supported me this far. This is, it's actually, wow man, like I can't, I can't even express how grateful I, I am to have the parents that I have, you know. The fact that I still have both my parents is amazing and they both believe in me, you know. Like they, they want to see me succeed and that just gives me the motivation and the drive to carry on because you've got someone, who, you've got people behind you who have your back. So now I can start cutting. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna cut where everywhere I put a mark. All right? Yeah. So just putting that thing back on. Okay. I'm gonna know which one to take out. So I'm gonna take out every second one. Mm. Cause, and now if you look, so if you look now, um, the angles sort of bounce between the two different cameras. Okay. okay. I can play it slowly for you. Yeah, let's play it out. Yeah. Do I think a good edit can save a badly shot thing? Man, that's a hard one. I think, you know, I, I think a good edit can save it to an extent. I think it depends on how badly shot it was. But I think if you're a good editor, you can make it work regardless. It always goes back to that thing of never leave it for post, always try and fix it on set, you know. Okay, cool. Um, so I've seen your edit now. Um, I think we definitely, we've definitely got some work going in there, which is really nice. Um, let's move on from here and let's, let's carry on. Bonko! Ladies. Howdy, buddy. Good, good. Bonko! How's it, man? <laughs> All right, so um, we've got Dice with us, Modise. He's uh, working with us a lot more in sort of the design, senior design department. And we were just running him through your CV, just to make sure that everything was looking spiff and looking all rad. Um, we just wanted to make sure. But uh, before we get into that, how was today? Um, today was challenging, but mm -hmm. exciting at the same time. Um, I think I... I got to sort of run through the process 
the entire process in a shorter space of time than I normally would, which puts a little bit of pressure on me uh, and the crew, obviously. But I think everyone pulled together and it worked out. So I guess you're excited to know if we're going to say yes or no to the position. <sighs> yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> you got it. You nailed it. Yes. You aced it. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Um, obviously, there's a lot of growth potential with you. There is like a nice spark. We're very happy to sort of represent you and for you to represent us. So, congrats. Really, really happy about that. So, thank, well you. Done. <laughs> thank you. 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 Cheers, buddy. Thanks, awesome. man. Thank you. Sure, but fear too. So as you guys saw, I got the job. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Uh, it's the start of a new life, man. I'm fine. I'm happy that I can finally tell the stories that I want to tell. And I've got the skills that I've needed to do that. And this means so much for me, to my colleagues and my family. Yeah, I'm finally the person I think I want to be. Yeah. So to all my hustlers out there, Presa, Pusha, Panda, I'll see you guys later. Well done, Bongo. Ri tuti le kawe na korbo kama sabarona. Buka di kile long and happy. Buma tsohong arona. Puto yarona ya beke ena iso komweli. Ariena ona le taka to ya usebeza le kalenga ko iza joala. The brewery technologies di ba sebi di sa science. Ho fetu la shama ya joala ba itzoange. Ba la tele di tseleka ho fela tsa uritela. Ho re re bo reka joala bo re bo bona ngodi shopong. We na ofaka national senior certificate eta udumela ko iza diploma kapa yena degree. Oka ikwetli sa kawe iza chemistry kapa yena microbiology. Hi, kaba hona loho sa uutwang. Hopu lao chakla Facebook liyo na website ya rona. Kiemezi ya haupoto. Golden Globes, Golden Horn, Visual. You have the full picture. You have the full picture. You have the full picture. You have the full picture.